Hello, welcome to another video. What you have in front of you is Ubuntu Unity on the latest daily build of Ubuntu 20.04. Um, so I shared a little clip on, actually over on Twitter of a Unity build that I've got on 18.04 and it got quite a lot of sort of like and attention from sort of people that were sad to see Unity go and that said they missed it and stuff and it sort of got me wondering on how it would run on 20.04. So this is it, it's all running. The only issue I had during installation was it didn't have a HUD package for 20.04 so I had to grab one from 19.10 and then manually install the dev package but after that I haven't really run into any other issues so far. So I've installed a few packages. A lot of these are app images though because I didn't want to go too crazy with the packages yet. I just didn't want to really break anything before I've got into it. But it seems okay, you know. I've not really... I've installed Caden Live um, just by apt get because the um, the app image wouldn't... Um, it wouldn't load to the app image for Caden Live um, 20.04. It does on the 18.04 one, so I'm just not sure why that is. But yep, yeah, Caden Live's running all fine. Let's just minimise that and keep a few things open. I'm not sure what we, you know, what it's like for RAM yet. It's going to be a bit unfair though because, as I say, this has got two desktop environments now, so there'll be double. So for files, for example, you'll have you know Nemo and Nautilus. So what I'm going to have to do is sort of go through whatever doubles of programs I might have. Not doubles. Uh, programs that do the same things as each other and then remove ones I don't want. So I've probably got two emails because I installed Evolution myself. No, I do have two, Geary. We'll remove that. Um, and I'm going to keep the GNOME on there because the online accounts for my Office 365 works. If I set it in GNOME and then jump over to Unity, it still works perfectly fine. If I set it in Unity, it doesn't actually work. So if you go into online accounts, um, I'll just make up some... There's no enter, but you can set it in GNOME and it carries over when you switch your desktop, so that's fine. So my evolution all works as it should, so that's not going to sort of stop me there. Um, I've set my panel to auto-hide because I'm a bit... I I have really petty little things that bother me, and like that little shadow there annoys me. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. And then there's a little white line when you full screen um, with the dock showing. I'll quickly show you. So let's pop open the Unity Tweak tool. So if we go onto the launcher and then turn off auto hide, you'll see that there's a tiny little gap there. Very tiny, but it's enough to be the only thing that I'll look at whenever I've got a, a window full. That's just how petty I am. So I, I, I'll set that to auto hide and then that clears the problem. I do believe they also used to have a Windows Dodge, but a Windows Dodge is no longer there. I think it was taken out at some point for some reason. So what I've done, um, I'm going to show you what it looks like by default, so let's just kind of revert the changes I've made one by one so you can see it. So we're going to start a theme, we've got the Arc Darker, so let's pop it onto Ambience and then we'll go to the Ubuntu Mono Dark, back to Overview, we'll go to Panel, we'll take that back down, we'll go to Launcher, okay. So that's your, you know, your sort of, your basic Unity look when you install it from Ubuntu Unity Desktop from the GNOME, not GNOME, sorry, the sort of the normal ISO if you like of Ubuntu. What I've done is these app images, so Qubit Torrent's an app image, OpenShots is an app image. It's a bit laggy to open OpenShot, I'm not I'm not too sure why. But it really does lag. Is it gonna open at all? Let's pop open our RAM and see what our RAM is saying. So we're at about 3.6 gigabytes at the moment. What I will do sort of towards the end of the video is do a reboot and see what RAM it's actually using. And as I say, that's bearing in mind it's installed from the ISO that will have GNOME desktop as well. Um, I don't think OpenShot wants to open, does it? It's not doing anything. Okay, let's close Qubit Torrent. We might have to see... There we go. It's just very slow, the app image of OpenShot on the... Um, Ubuntu 20.04. So we'll close that. Right, let's change it back to how we like it. Why have we got a... Okay, so it's not got the uh, mic... Oh, so um, I'm really lazy. So the the, uh, the dot .desktop um, text file that I made for some of the app images, I, I just tie it to the, uh, the dot, dot .icons in my home folder because I'm just so late. Oh, God, look, here we go. There's another one pops open. So what I need to do is just go back into my normal icons and then the icon will be back to normal. So let's go to icons, arc, dark, where's arc icons, am I blind? Oh, we're on there, let's do that again. 
there you go so now my icon's back there that's my own fault I've done just lazy on my part I shouldn't really say it like that but I do right so that's that part done let's go back into tweaks now and then once we've set it back up we'll sort of give you a little sort of run through of the desktop and we'll see if we run into any lag or anything like that but I'm gonna sort of cut to the chase I think it's fine I think once you've set it up and you've got through any little niggles that there might be I think it's okay I don't think there's anything that would sort of prohibit you from using it as your you know your daily driver but we'll see let's let's pop open tweaks again and then what we want to do is we want to go back to theme and we want to pop back arc darkest there we go and we want to hide that we don't need to show the hidden files anymore so I'm oh, I think I'm gonna keep Nautilus and remove Nemo so let's just see if that goes okay So what is that going to take away with it? Cinnamon desktop data, blah 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 blah. Cinnamon, nothing important that I want. Nemo, firewall. Cool. Yeah, we're just going to get rid of that. I'm not too bothered about that. We want to set our top bar to transparent as well. So let's go back into tweaks. Top panel and tweak. Tweak. What am I talking about? There we go. And then is that dynamic? So I actually think. The panel in Unity is probably one of the best inventions, along with the dash, in, in sort of desktop environments. It just makes life so much easier. Right, and we want it to be auto-hide as well. Sorry, oh, I keep forgetting. So then let's jump back into tweaks, and we want it to be auto-hide in our launcher there. Perfect. Right, now let's open up Caden Live and just make sure that the global menu and the alt button, everything's working as it should be. I haven't checked that out yet. Oh, it's opened up on my other screen here. Right, so let's press Alt and just type in Fade. Is it found a Fade? There we go. Fade in, Fade out. Uh, keyframe. Yep, so it's finding everything. Everything's working as it should. The only one that's not worked that I've found with the global menu that's installed by default is Firefox. So if I was to try it with Firefox, there is no global menu. But it does work with Chrome. And I'm sure it'll work with other web browsers as well. So with Chrome, as I say, you've got, you know, it's all there. And then if you wanted to do that, it's all there as well. So it works with Chrome. I'm just, it, Firefox is not working with. And it's the only program so far that I've had any real problems with. So I've installed one sort of app indicator thingy up here. So I've got the sort of load for system, memory, CPU, and net. I want to get a couple more and then we're going to restart. And we're going to get a RAM reading and see sort of what RAM we're using at boot. I might remove GDM. Okay, so is there anything in here I quite like the look of? Um, clear desktop. Nope, nope, nope. Caffeine. Um, could get caffeine. Copy to clipboard. Twitch indicator. Disk indicator. System load. That's the one we've got. Weather. Hmm. Yeah, okay, we'll get the weather indicator as well. And while we're here, we'll install GIMP, because I need GIMP. I don't think I've installed... Have I installed Tmux yet? Right, so we can't find the package for indicator weather. I'm sure you could find it with a PPS. I mean, I'm not too fussed about that. Right, let's install these two packages, and then I'm going to do a quick reboot, and then we'll have a sort of a little final look at how... Unity ties everything together and you know sort of the alt tab switcher and your workspace switcher and everything else but so far so good you know I've not had any real problems sounds working everything's working right how's that coming along where are we is that done so there's your window spread um, you can spread windows from all desktops as well but we'll have a look at that after we've done a reboot so I think that's done our packages isn't it let's make sure that we uh, we're on the right terminal yes right so we're going to do a reboot so i'm just going to quickly press stop and we'll be back in a moment right so i've done a little screen grab of what we was getting ram wise as we booted up and we're reading at about 767 megabytes and that's really quite good considering we've got gnome and a lot of other stuff installed as well so i was expecting that to be a lot higher so i'm actually quite impressed with that so let's close that and we'll just have a little look around now and sort of set it up for how i want it set up and make sure the programs we've got installed work um but to be honest so far so good 
so what we've got here we've got Caden live so we're going to just sort of start editing this video I won't do it all obviously we're just going to sort of make sure everything's choppy and works and blah 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 boom yeah so obviously I'm not going to do that but we're going to leave that open so I think we've got GIMP installed now as well don't we let's make sure GIMP's all working as it should and let's make sure the global menu is working yep I can already see it layer yep global menu for GIMP is working absolutely perfect so we're going to leave that open as well let's open up HTOP just oh, on the other screen wrong one there we go and we'll have we'll keep a eye on the ram as well while we go and um, there's a little counter up there but it's a bit hard to sort of really get a, an idea of what the ram's doing so we're using two gig out of 32 at the moment so what i like about unit as well is just the the, um, the tab switch is really useful let's say if you've got more than one thing open let's open a few things so a few terminals and then a couple of files let's open nautilus twice and let's open that in a new window so let's tab through so a terminal there look you can go through that one no don't want that wrong one back to that one and it's just so nice looking you get a full screen you know exactly what's there the icons are big it's, it's, it just makes so much sense as an alt tab switcher and it's i don't think any distribution's really taken over the uh, desktop environment's got an answer for that i think that's perfect for an alt tab switch and i don't see what could be done to to make it any better um, and then you've got to spread all windows um, that's to spread current on the current screen actually so all windows so let's move something to another desktop let's move that to that and let's go move that to that right so we've got a few windows now on different desktops virtual desktops if you like so if you do the same one but hold shift so that's windows key hold shift and windows it will then spread it across is that right can I see them all I don't think that has done it has it right let's have a look yes it has so GIMP is on another screen and there it is there in your windows spread um, let's see how crazy that can go. So let's open a few more things. Let's open up Telegram. I don't think I've. Oh no, let's close Telegram. <laughs> I'll blow that out. Um, let's open a few more things. Let's open that. Um, let's open up settings. We'll go through the settings in a moment as well. Is it system settings for Unity? Let's have a look. Yes. Right. Let's open up the um, all window spread now. So you've got that there, there, there. So if you used to go on to that it would open that up straight away right let's open a few more things and then let's just see how crazy it goes so there you go you can you can really go a bit mad of your your window spread but I, again i just think it looks nice everything's sort of there and you know you can still get a feel for what what's on the screen there oh look caden's lives there i'll pop into that I've, it just works there's no lag this is smooth perfect right what we want to do now <laughs> is just close all of these bye bye uh we'll keep that one open because that's our h top so we're at 2.8 gig now out of 32 so let's close that and we'll just go through the settings now and see what sort of if there's any more changes we're going to want to make on the settings let's get rid of that oh what's the um desktop show desktop keyboard shortcut so if you're unsure of any shortcuts as well just holding up the uh, windows key or the super key will give you sort of an overview of the sort of used ones there and then it will put a number on each application on the your dash uh, launcher there so each number will correspond to your number so if i clicked one that will open that up for me or minimize it if i've got it open click two that will open up firefox click six so if i click six that will open up qubit torrent so there's just so many navigational options to use unity with and i just think everything works cohesively i like it i want it back so let's um let's start the get unity back move do you know what i think if it was like a little remix or something or even just uh, an option to you know like in the net install mini iso like a task cell option unity desktop i think that would be amazing so that's my little look around sort of ubuntu unit if you want to give it a go yourself i'd suggest doing it on the 18.04 version and just installing of the ubuntu unity desktop package and you won't really need to do anything else then it should all work as you'd expect thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please subscribe and i'll see you on the next one Bye bye